In this podcast, I want to talk to you guys about how I hit the billboard charts with no radio, no label, not even touring, just with Facebook ads and much more. Let's go get it. I spent the last 14 years playing over a thousand shows, touring 22 different countries and become a top 40 billboard charting artist. I fired my record label to go out on my own as an independent artist to market and release my own music, selling thousands of albums and millions of streams. The question I always get is, how did I do it without a label and sell even more music? This podcast is here to show you the way. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply and share marketing strategies to grow my music business in a loyal fan base. Hey, what's up, guys? Just hanging out here. It's starting to get cold again. And um, I just moved into my new house, which I'm so thankful for. Uh, It's right where I do my walks and stuff. So I'm just like really blessed, really excited. Me and my wife have always been very minimalist and just always invested in the music, always invested in the businesses. Like we've been at this, we've been married for. Uh, 15 plus years been together for like 20 years and you know we always lived in like a one bedroom condo and just you know drove crappy cars forever because we were just everything was just into the dream into the dream into the dream until our dreams could uh you know our music could could buy us the other things you know what i mean like the luxuries and you know the book rich dad poor dad talks about this where you know the poor buy liabilities and the rich buy assets and the assets pay for the liabilities and <clears throat> basically what that means is is like we invested in our in our music and our businesses that would make us money and so they would pay for now the cars and the houses and all those things that you know a lot of people you know the first time you know a lot of artists get money they just go buy a fancy car or they go buy this and we just didn't do that you know we just we just stayed broke and stayed just putting it into the dream putting into the 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 music and trying to get it out there and marketing and all that stuff so i really encourage you you know to uh do the same you know um learn to live like no one else so one day you can live like no one else there's a there's a different quote but like you know you just learn to make the sacrifice now so that the oh yeah it's like it's like pay the price now so you can pay any price later on and so yeah you, you learn to go without for a while and, and you, you buckle down you knock down the, the 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 lattes and different things and just put it all into the music into the dream into what you're doing your marketing your education learning so that you can eventually you know have that making so much income that you can just now do whatever you want and you know there was a bit of a price that we paid earlier in the day and now we can pay any so didn't mean to rant on that but uh, I hope that speaks to you I hope that really encourages you because I wish somebody you know told me that even earlier in my life because I would have you know made maybe made some different decisions on things but here I am and uh, I find out tomorrow that we hit the billboard charts with my new album stones reloaded uh it's an edm record it's a remix record it's one of the um least expensive records i made because i didn't have to write brand new songs i didn't have to record any new vocals um it was all just having somebody remix the songs that were already there and i want to share with you the full strategy that i did to do that and number one is i had my patreons I have a Patreon page. If you go to Patreon, uh, P A T E, sorry, P A T R E O N dot com slash manifest, and it's kind of like a monthly fan club where your fans, you know, pay you based on the songs or videos you, you release. So I had my fans help, kind of like every time I'd release a new remix my fans would help pay for that and so we did that for a while for about four or five songs to have a lot of the songs you know pay for themselves see if my fans were digging them they're up on spotify itunes you know just making income and all that stuff boosting up the sales but then to follow that up i did a kickstarter campaign and for this campaign i or i should say crowdfunding campaign i used pledge music okay and so i got tons of orders through that about four or five hundred uh almost 500 uh pre-orders which is amazing and so what pledge music does is when your album actually releases because you got all those pre-orders they submit those as sales and they go towards your first week sales to help you hit the billboard charts okay but this is what i did my album 
released September 21st, okay? I started the Kickstarter campaign in May, I think it was May. So I I, I promoted that May, June, July, and I think uh, to the end of July, and then I shut it down. I think I shut it down actually early August, okay? And so then I had like 500 pre-orders. Those all go towards the Billboard charts, okay? And then what I did was is I uploaded my music to TuneCore. That's who I use for my digital distribution. You can use CD Baby or DistroKid, whoever you want, but I personally use TuneCore right now. And what I did was is I um, paid the extra 10 or $15 so people could pre-order the uh, the album again. So I could now I have all of August and um, three weeks of September to get even more pre-orders, okay? And what I did to drive all these sales and pre-orders is I was running Facebook ads to, to my Pledge Music campaign when I was doing the crowdfunding campaign to my audience, to, to cold audiences, just to try and get people in. And then once that campaign was done, I started focusing the Facebook ads towards iTunes, okay? And to Spotify, because even the Spotify streams and all that stuff help, okay? To get even more pre-orders in, okay? And this is before September 21st even hits, okay? So right when that hits... They submit all those sales, but not even that. Then I've got the full week. I think it's six or seven days you have because the albums always come out on a Friday. So I had seven more days to even promote again. Now the record's out. Make a bunch of noise. I was making noise on YouTube. I was making noise on Facebook. I was making noise emailing my friends. Like, And then I think it was about halfway through the week, I had a Billboard magazine contact me and say, hey, man, we need your logo. We need uh, to know the copyright information because it looks like you're going to hit the Billboard charts. And I was like, what? And so what did I do? Well, I emailed my uh, list and said, guys, help me out. I posted on Facebook. Hey, we're going to hit the charts. I posted on Instagram. Hey, guys, looks like we're going to hit the charts. And maybe if you follow me on my Smart Music Business um, Instagram, you'll see that I, I did the same thing there, just letting you guys know like this is happening. And this is without radio. This is without, I'm not touring right now. I'm just, you know, trying to be home, more home with my family, but I'm just utilizing and leveraging Facebook, okay? And if you have not watched the webinar training on um, how, how I'm selling thousands of CDs with Facebook, go to smartmusicbusiness.com slash save your seat, okay? And that's going to give you some free training, and then it's going to offer, which is a finally available, is my Facebook ads course. If you go to smartmusicbusiness.com slash Facebook, okay? But I suggest you go to the save your seat uh, one first, watch the free training, but if you're ready to dive into this and actually sell more records and this and use Facebook ads to grow a list, to grow a fan base, so that when you do release a record like I just did, independently, without a label, in a completely different genre than I've done before, um, and, and do this for you, then you want to get that course to start building that up. You want to start building your fan base. You want to start getting your marketing chops ready for when you have an album, for when you have a single, and have a plan, you know? And so I'm just super thankful that we have these tools tools, you know, I'm no one special or anything like that. But um, I heard this quote the other day, I think it was Rachel Hollis said, she said this is that, you know, you know, the, the only reason I'm here, it, and the only difference between me and other people is that people said no to them. Um, but I just didn't listen, you know, and, and I feel the same way as a music artist. I had so many people say, no, you can't do that. You can't do this. And a lot of my friends just gave up when they, when they heard that rejection, when they heard like, oh, you, you can't do that. You're not good enough or the festival said no. And they're just like, oh, and they, and they crunched back. Well, me, I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to go for this. I don't care. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what this person says or criticize me. I'm going to keep going, you know, and uh, I've gotten hate and different things at, at times and stuff like that. But I just keep pursuing, man, I just keep pursuing the dream until you figure this out. And I encourage you, put a stake in the ground and say, this is my year. I'm going to make it happen in my music. You know, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to grow my fan base. I'm going to play some more shows. I'm going to learn this Facebook ads thing because it's the fastest way to build a fan base while being home. Okay. You can only be in one place at a time when you're touring. Okay. You know, I can't wait to bring my tour online and play shows from home. I am going to figure that out. (laughs) I keep talking about it, but 
Hey, I hope this has helped you guys. Again, go to smartmusicbusiness.com slash save your seat. Watch that free webinar training. Learn about this stuff. And if you're just ready to get into the, the, the Facebook ads for music course, well, then just go to Facebook or go to smartmusicbusiness.com slash Facebook and you can find more information about that. Hey, I believe in you. This is Chris Manifest saying a fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits. So don't quit on your dream. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it valuable. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below so that you can get the more content that I'm releasing. Also, if you're a struggling artist and you're just trying to figure out this music industry, you want to go full time with your music, you want to get noticed on social media or learn how to launch an album, an EP, or just get your music more marketed out there, I want to encourage you to check out my coaching program called Fanbase University. Every single month, I jump on the phone two times with my students and I coach them and I teach them how to market their music, how to get noticed, how to handle booking agents, record labels, and just get their music out there. Also, you get access to exclusive training. You get in interviews with music industry professionals. If you want to find out more and not do this on your own, not struggle because I've wasted thousands of dollars on my career and I, now I want to coach other artists. Check out my program, fanbaseuniversity.com or click the link below to find out more info.